If you follow my channel, you know I don't normally name fishing spots, but I'm gonna make an exception in this video because this particular place had a profound impact on me growing up as a kid. I haven't had a lot of time to film lately, but I wanted to check in and show you what we've been up to. Lately, we've been spending a ton of time outside exploring, and with that, we've been seeing a ton of wildlife. One of the coolest things we were able to do was actually call a juvenile barred owl to our backyard by using owl noises on my phone. Once we called it in, we headed into the forest and tried to pinpoint it. and it didn't take long for us to find it high up in a tree. Since my kids have showed such an interest in animals and wildlife, I decided to get creative. So in preparation for next spring, I mounted one of our home security cameras into a nesting box, with the hopes being we get to watch birds nest next spring and watch them grow. I figured I'd hang it this summer, which would give it more time for the other birds and animals to get used to it. Plus I didn't want to be messing around with it, not knowing what the weather would be like in the spring. So doing a little bit of research into the birds in our area, I learned that mounting it between 10 and 30 feet off the ground will appeal to a variety of woodpeckers in the area, as well as small owl species like a screech owl. And fingers crossed next spring we get some birds to use it. Now onto the fishing. The day started out with some immaculate views and sometimes you just have to pull over. But the morning quickly went downhill. I headed out to Island Lake Conservation Area, which is formerly known as Orangeville Reservoir, with a buddy, Adrian, to do a little kayak fishing. While I was unloading my kayak from my car, I lost control, it fell, and it hit the car next to me, it broke its mirror. Yes, I left a note, and yes, I left a real phone number. So why I think this is a great park if you have young kids is it has an accessible boat launch. You can bring a canoe, a kayak, you can bring an electric powered boat. You can also rent all of those here too. They also rent stand up paddle boards, they rent fishing equipment if you don't have any, and mountain bikes and ice fishing stuff too. There are a ton of nature trails, bike paths, and different places to explore, and lots of migratory birds. The facilities and washrooms are clean, especially important if you have kids, and there's even a car charging station. Now time to hit the water. Wow. Look at that. Oh boy. Nice largey. 
To save you some time, the bait that worked really well for me was a 5-inch Berkley Power Bait. It was like a long worm, similar to a green pumpkin color, and I rigged it weedless because there is a ton of weeds in this lake. If you're just getting into fishing or a local angler, make sure you check out my other videos. Stay tuned and hit that bell notification because I've got a lot of salmon content planned for this fall. Thanks for watching. As always, have a great day.